out from the top. If it's a head chef or assistant head chef, he uses, I understand they get to use their phone a lot. Once they use their phone, it takes five seconds to wash their hand and continue their work. But it happened a lot of many times. They use their phone and start going back to their sushi making right away. I did not realize this until one of my coworkers who left the same place told me like, hey, watch this fool after he's done using his phone. And as soon as he done using his phone, bro didn't even wash his hand and just start making sushi again. And if you think that's the worst, he goes to the restroom, comes back, put his apron back on, start making sushi. And the worst of the worst thing, the reason I started this video is, I saw a couple times, you drop your towel on the floor, which is so bad, so dirty. All you can do is toss that shit away, get a new one. Or at least rinse it, soap it. And bro picks it up, wipe his board, start making sushi again. And I thought that was the most disgusting thing that you can do as a chef. You don't have to be assistant head chef or head chef. But that's not right. People are paying top dollars. And the Mikuni is an expensive place, you know. It's like a Jordan. It's like a name, you know. They're selling all the same shit. But it's just the name, sauce, and what they portrayed at the front but don't get fooled by those all the nice smiles and all the videos on the YouTube and internet and Facebook and the second reason I started this video is they get to train on your food let's say they hired some 18 year old guy who never worked somewhere else they would train them for two days you know have to make hey this is crab mix this is spicy tuna you know they have no idea what the basics and then even on the first and second third day they still get to make your food but two days they will be supervised you know but on the third day they give hand you a ticket especially to go one hey figure this out you're on your own you already had two days of training so you know they get to miss they get to miss, they get to do all kind of stuff practice on your food i believe there should be some trials you know you have to pass the certain this is skills things to make actual order for someone else. Until then, you can do a workshop. You can do a, make the Californias for the kitchen. You know, you can be doing all kind of different practices before you get to work on someone's actually food. So it's just you know they're learning and being mistake on your food that you purchase for 50, 60, 70 dollars. When you see an inconsistent food, why it looks so bad, that means that some guy with no experience just worked on your food for 40-50 minutes. And the third reason is, let's say you get a to-go, that's a pickup for 2 o'clock, right? And they give this ticket around to the new guy around 12 o'clock, hey, you got 2 hours to make this ticket, that's a 5 rolls. So they will start making it, you know, and I guess it takes them about 30-40 minutes, you know, sometimes, like depending on how fast they are, but what I'm saying is they're gonna start making your food at least 1 hour 30 minutes before, and it just sits there, and they waited until sauce until last minute, so when the avocado gets darker or anything like that, they just covers up with the sauce and put a little garnish, green onion masago. Whenever you eat some to-go's and everything, lift up the sauce, check the inside, make sure it's good, guys. Because I don't want anybody to get sick just because they simply care about their business, just not care about customers' health and overall things, you know? <laughs> Fourth, when you... Example, when you have 18 shifts working at the same time, you have assigned jobs that you're supposed to do, but there are so many other small things that nobody's assigned to. Example, some salmon egg, it's supposed to be kept refrigerated, but some guy use it, puts it out, it's just sitting in the top with, in the cold, like walk-in refrigerator, but it should be refrigerated, refrigerated. So it's just sitting in the, in, in, in outside, it could be sitting there for days and once I checked some wages that's supposed to be replaced every two days I saw some wages that's been sitting there for two weeks yo and I can see someone use that shit how could you use it? ingredients that's been sitting there for two weeks and they got the dates on it sometimes they don't even put the date on it you know 
I understand there's so many people, so many people sign, but if your top upper management shows and care about these things, and everyone will care about it. But if your top, your upper management doesn't seem to care about, it, everyone will be like, oh, that's not my sign job. I don't need to do that, you know. So be really careful. If something doesn't seem like smell right, doesn't look right, always return it. Don't be hesitated to like feel bad. Hey, these people worked hard on this to make this. I don't want you guys to get sick and be just, you know, and it can be long-term health problem on you. And watch out for that.